It's very bright out here. But Larry and I are just doing a little sunbathing. Rue is eating her ball that she's obsessed with. And it's a beautiful, warm Monday morning. Well, you don't want to give that to him if you don't want him to have it. See? I told you. Kind of went over to the wrong person. <laughs> Greetings loved ones and welcome back to another vlog. I was just laying on my porch and just started thinking about you so I figured why not make a vlog, you know? Let's make a vlog out of this future gardening day I'm about to have because that's my plan for today. I gotta get some more seeds in the ground. I gotta get beds prepped because we've been putting it off longer than usual this season for no reason other than laziness and depression, yeah. But now it's sunny and beautiful and really warm out. It's been consistently warm for like five days or something like that, like in the high 70s and 80s and shit, which is not normal for this time of year, but you know, why not get some use out of it? Spend a day out in the garden. Today, I have to do my front herb garden. I want to weed it, maybe, you know, move some plants around, possibly. I also kind of want to figure out how to make some of my house plants more presentable, so I figured we might do that together. And I need to prepare all of our raised beds and also seed them again. And Finley needs to mow the lawn and weed whack around the perimeter of the house. We just have landscaping stuff to do, honestly. We also want to, now that we've rotated the pigs' pastures, we want to put some sprinklers in the old pasture so that the grass can grow back because it's so sunny and warm and it's totally drying out the grass right now instead of, you know, if it was accompanied by water, maybe it would grow a little bit more. So we want to do that and anything else that I show is just going to be for funsies. The date today is 419. I think I'll probably just make this a day-long working vlog, but if I change my mind, then you'll obviously know as the vlog goes on. But for right now, I'm just hanging out with the dogs on the porch. I just spent my morning, as usual, you know, drinking my coffee, reading a book, and my breakfast for the past, like, three months has been a very warm, buttery croissant. Every day I wake up, I have my warm buttery croissant and I do my silly little tasks. What's on the agenda today for you, Larry? No plans, just vibes. She's found her ball again, her crazy ball. She never puts it down once she finds it in the yard. Oh, also my friend Sophie gave me this beautiful tomato plant and I haven't planted any tomatoes yet because it hasn't been hot enough so this is my first little guy and he's looking so beautiful and stunning and this is the garden by the way this is the before <laughs> it's insane to look at because there's basically no room for anything to grow outside of its area this is all I believe the blue flowers are called lithodora but I could be incorrect about that um, and all of the green surrounding it is all spearmint and then over here, we have all of this lemon balm. So the difference between the spearmint and the lemon balm is the lemon balm has really soft leaves and they kind of are wider and more spread out. And then the spearmint is more like close together. Also something as these um, spearmint grow up in age, you can't really see right now, but they kind of have like a purplish tint to their stem and the lemon balm just has like a lime green tint. So I can always tell which one's which and also because the lemon balm smells like lemons. Anyways, there's really a lot going on over here. We have more lithodora. We also have the sage, which is now becoming just as insane as my um, spearmint almost. Like it's sh just shooting up everywhere. It's going over here. It's going all the way out there on this side. My daisies died, which is horrible and I'll have to kind of prune that out today. This is all just wild weeds around here. You know, you got your dandelion, you got more of the crazy spearmint. But what I really didn't even notice until the other night when I came out here to get some herbs for dinner, my oregano, which I planted in 2018 and haven't seen for at least two years, has come back and it smells so beautiful. Mm, love it. So really happy about that. 
we have our creek oregano in the middle and all of these crazy weeds so this is like my main project for today is just making this look more presentable not to mention the fact that this is like the craziest tallest grass ever we just have not touched this over the winter at all so she needs to get spring prepped just like everything else what are you guys doing huh Oh, and the hummingbirds are back. I filled the feeder, so they're really thriving and they visit me multiple times a day, which has been incredible. And the bunnies are back in the yard. The butterflies are gonna come back soon too. This is our butterfly bush lilac. And I've seen a couple of tiny little white butterflies, but I'm waiting for more. Oh, speaking of which, I just saw one pass. I'm waiting for more to come though, as these start to bloom and blossom and stuff. I don't know if you guys remember this, but in a vlog last year, I showed you how hacked back this butterfly bush was. And I was like, yeah, I don't know, kind of looks pretty crazy. Like Finley really went hard on, on pruning this guy. So it didn't look very pretty, but now it is looking stunning yet again in spring as it always does. So love that. Hi, Mr. Larry. Yeah, you love sunbathing in the mornings. It's actually your favorite thing in the whole world. Let's go prune. Excuse me, dogs. Okay, Larry, what we have here is a case of the overgrown garden bed. So all of this is outside of the perimeter here of my rocks that I use to kind of mark the path so that people can walk around the garden. And right now, all of this mint dandelion, I mean, we could just make a medicinal tea with it, but sometimes my dogs lift their leg on this, specifically Larry, because Rue doesn't lift her leg. Some girl dogs do though. Let me know if your girl dog does that. Anyways, um, I'm thinking that I'm probably just gonna compost this stuff all through here until I find the line and I'll just weed out everything other than that. And I'm just listening to my spring playlist. <laughs> Alright guys, I've weeded out a lot of this area and kind of dug up the rocks that are normally around here. And so I'm going to bring the broad fork in here and kind of try to like loosen up the soil. As you can see, there's like a pile of soil right here, which I think is from a gopher that might be in here. So I want to loosen that up too, get some of the rocks out, give this oregano room to breathe as well as this sage because we already have so much mint i'm like i don't really care if i weed out the mint and last year we put some like pretty flowers around here that weren't edible just like daisies and stuff so i might do that again this year but i need to loosen this up first i'm on a roller coaster on this thing I've been working on trying to get this singular rock out for so long so that I can just fill it with dirt, make sure the path is nice and clean and then start weed whacking along the perimeter. But whew, 
wow, this rock really doesn't want to budge. So I'm taking a little break to go and show you guys the pig fence because I don't think I did in the last vlog. I don't think we had finished it yet. So I'm gonna go show you their new part of their fence and their happy little life. Hey, howdy there. Finley just unloaded all of the rest of these pallets that we didn't end up using outside of the barn. We need to clean out our barn so bad, guys. It's insane, but um, that's a project for another day. Yeehaw, new fence line. Ducky is very greased up right now with her coconut oil. You wanna see why I couldn't get this damn boulder out of the ground? <laughs> Cause it looks like this, what the hell? No wonder it's taken me so many years to get that one out. Wow, it's a big slabber right there. All right, I'm just gonna weed this out, loosen up the soil around here, fill it back in. Finley went to go and get us some potting soil, but I'm also gonna wait to weed whack until he gets back because I need him to redo this string in it and I don't know how. Tee -hee. All right, this looks 580 times better, and I'm feeling great about it, at least for right here. This is a completely different story back here. This is all, sorry, it's windy. This is all grass that Rue has been trampling down, and that's why I'm just gonna weed whack along this perimeter. Find the rocks that are somewhere under here, buried, eventually, and um, just kind of clear out underneath the lilac bush and weed it out a little bit, but I think I might just kind of wait on that because I found something and I want to make an infusion, okay? So I saw on my last vlog some of you commenting about the fact that I had cleavers in my yard and cleavers look like this. I just watched an entire ID video about them and I'm pretty sure that this is an accurate ID for me because they have a little bit of purple and brown in the stem. They also like attach to you, like sticky, and that's how they spread their spores onto your hands or just anything that walks by. That's how they reproduce. And in the Herbal Academy video I just watched, I could tell from the top of it when she was kind of showing the six to eight leaves around that it was an accurate ID. And these ones go pretty far down, so I'm just gonna rip this up and make a lymphatic tonic with these cleavers. I'm gonna go chop them up inside and just make a cold infusion with them in a mason jar probably. Why not get a little lymph node help in this season? You know, Rue's still going at it with her ball. It's been the entire day and Larry's still just relaxing on his chair, keeping the perimeter of the house safe. I might just put this out in the sun for all of today, honestly, and then refrigerate it after. So I'll just do a sun infusion instead of a cold infusion. I prefer to do sun infusions, honestly, just because I think it's so cool. I also made snickerdoodles last night. Don't mind if I do. All right, guys, since I'm taking a little break from this first garden bed project, I'm just gonna start a second project that I've wanted to do but keep forgetting about. That's like the story of my life, honestly, is I wanna do something, I put it on a long list, I forget about the list. Or I start doing other things on the list and then I'm like, you know, I'm taking up a lot of time with these. I don't know if I'll have time for that, but I do have time to plant sunflowers right now, okay? I'm gonna go bring over the broad fork to the other garden on the other side of the house and loosen up the soil and then plant some of these bad boys. I went to a free market in Portland probably two weeks ago, two Saturdays ago, and just got rid of stuff that, um, you know, I didn't need, but had too much of kitchen stuff, random kind of clothing pieces, good socks, mittens, those types of things. And my friends Summer and Chris came and they took like a lap around to look at what other people were giving away for free. And Summer came back and she gave me these sunflower seeds. So I'm gonna go sow these into the ground. It does say that I should sow them indoors in early spring, but it's not early spring anymore. And the soil temperatures are pretty warm right now. But it also says on them very easy to grow. So I'm just gonna go and shoot my shot keep some seeds in here just in case they don't come up because I really want them to come up. I'll tell you why. It's gonna be the entrance flower to our garden this year. In this little bed right here, that doesn't really look like a bed because it's super overgrown with grass and weeds. We used to use this bed for potatoes, 
dill, kale, some other various things, but I don't think we planted anything here last year. We just kind of let it like come up however it wanted to. And we're doing that now again, but I just want to weed it and then plant sunflowers here so that when you come into the garden, you'll like see sunflowers before seeing the raised beds. And I'm feeling good about that, you know? So I'm gonna start trying to loosen up the soil with Rue's help as well. See, this is what I'm saying. Soil gets really packed down. Look at that. This is a brick. This is not healthy soil to plant in. Yeah, break this shit down. That's why we haven't planted in this bed as much in the past and we kind of leave it sometimes because it just needs to like loosen up so much. And I don't think that when we first started planting in 2018 or gardening in general, we really knew that mucky soil, muddy, wet, sticky soil is really hard to plant in and some things don't reach their full potential. So that being said, I'm going to keep loosening this bad boy up. It works really well. It's really fun. It ain't no mower, but... It ain't no mower, he said. <laughs> That's true. Wow. It's so crazy. It's like the ground is giving birth. <laughs> Honestly, it's almost like easier than tilling in a way. Yeah. Like just with the smaller tiller we had. Like every time you have a chunk of soil like this, whatever's going on in the middle of that is undisturbed, whereas when you till things up, it all gets just broken into tiny little pieces. Yeah. Just kind of, well, A, it kills a lot of worms and destroys a lot of hyphal networks or mycelial networks. And I think it's helpful for the first time around. I agree. And after that, it's maybe not as positive. Rue's been really mind blown at the amount of, um, digging this thing does she's like oh my gosh there's so much soil under there i might as well just go burrow she keeps trying to bury her ball <laughs> so that i'll unearth it with everything else she could have a totally wicked time <laughs> nice yeah i've been doing a couple of pull-ups too myself it's pretty freaking sweet yes gorgeous yeah that's the big mama Hit me! Yeah, nice. <laughs> Larry's over here too. He finally came back from Olia's. It's pretty evident why stuff hasn't grown in here. It's not loose and falling apart at all. Ever since we rotated the pig's pastures, they no longer can come up to the fence while we're gardening. So I have to go visit them. Wow. Seems as though I've caught somebody in the middle of a bath. Ducky, are you just cooling off? Wow. Wow. Peach, you're dripping wet. You were just in there too, huh? Oh my gosh. This is the best thing ever. This is the best thing I've ever seen. I love to watch you take a little bath. Yeah. Go ahead and just cool off. Oh wow, you just hit me with mud. Amazing. Have you guys been drinking out of this big reservoir too? Yeah, I didn't bring any snacks in or anything. It's kind of just me. I love your little teeth, Ducky. Yeah, we put this here so that you could maybe like dump it out and add more water if you want. It looks like they've tried to make a second watering hole. Are you gonna go in that bath? Do you wanna go all the way in the water? Oh, you gave her a little kiss. That's Ducky's favorite thing. She makes the hole bigger by twerking in it. You're gonna knock that over, Peach. I wanna see you do it. Throw more water in, throw more water in. Love you, really, really do. Really, really love you. Really love you. Wow, you really are muddy, huh? Oh my God. Come over here to twerk. Ducky's working on a second hole. Yeah, you can use the barn as a scratching post. That's okay. Oh my gosh. You're glistening, my queen. It's all that coconut oil, huh? Looks good on you. Gorgeous. Such a shiny hog. Okay, Peach's turn. 
Peach is making the hole bigger. I think he might be trying to knock this water over too. Oh my god. Oh, looks like Rio just came in to see what hippopotamuses are out. Do you want me to try to knock that thing over for you or can you do it? I want to see you do it, Peach. You're really strong. You can move Dad's whole body. Mm hmm. Oh, God. Again? Jesus. <laughs> You're worse than a dog. <laughs> I was hit. I've been hit with mud. Itchy? Okay, I'm coming in. You're really, really muddy, Peach. Do you want this? You want to knock it? That's what you have to do. So you have to knock it. Oh my god, don't twerk on the camera, be sure. Yeah, that's one way to spill it. Pretty. Wow, that was nice. <laughs> your sister just sat on your head. <laughs> okay guys, so what we did was Finley took the broad fork, kind of flipped the grass in big patches upside down, and then we came back in with this thing. I don't know what this is called, but with a... Oh. You tumbled over there. I'm using this tool to break up the soil further. And I think that we're probably not going to mulch this bed because we want to save the mulch that we've chipped for the big bed. But um, I'm just kind of using this to consistently break up the soil. And Finley has the hoe. And we are hoeing no mow. Well, I'm going to keep doing it until I don't have to hoe no mow, I guess is what I should say. And then I'm gonna sow a couple of these sunflower seeds and water them, shower, and then get ready to stream on Twitch. Found a potato in here from 2018 when Olya and I planted potatoes in this bed. That was the first time she ever taught me to plant potatoes. So there's probably some random Honestly, hidden guys in here. Potatoes might be a good thing to plant in here. Well, here. see that's the issue is we think that, but then I have planted potatoes in here after that year in 2019, and they got really like mucky and stagnant and like, bogged down. I think they need a looser soil. This was a bed that was filled with horse manure. Finley suggested that maybe we should have added some amendments, which I totally agree with. We did like put hay in this bed to begin with, but hay is not an adequate amendment, I don't think, to break this up because it would just compost down, you know? It wasn't a good amendment. I would... Good, like, bed cover. Yeah. I just think that we should have done like mulch to begin with or something. And we do have mulch in these raised beds, which we're gonna work on another day, we just decided. But um, I think I'm just gonna kind of shoot my shot with some sunflower seeds in here and hope for all the best. That's really all I wanna plant in here. So I'm gonna try it. All right, guys, it's about five now and I've been working on the garden since like 12.30. So I'm gonna go take a shower. Finley and I said that we'll probably just continue these projects, like try to do a gardening project every day. Even though tomorrow's 4.20, we can just hang out out here, maybe work on the raised beds. I don't know. I'm not gonna end off this vlog or anything like that. I just wanna make it a gardening-centered vlog. Oh, you can see where I got sprayed with mud from Ducky's little fun time in the mud. I'll probably just continue this, you know, the next time I'm outside, okay? So you guys can feel like you're gardening with us. <laughs> I truly feel so strong. Today, it's ridiculous. I just got a full body workout, brothers. I also got a little bit of a sunburn, but nobody's shocked about that. Shockingly enough, I was wearing sunscreen though, but I think I just put it on a little bit too late. I was already in the garden. I have shaky hands. I need to go eat a salad. Finley got the potting soil, by the way and I'm gonna use this on my house plants eventually. But right now, we're doing a little bit of transplanting of some other friends. The next day. Hey there, Bo Johnsons. 
The day is 4.20. We are out in the garden. I'm wearing my gorgeous necklaces. Stoned little cutie eyes. I've had these for so long and I just rarely wear them. It's a little windy, so I'm hoping that this is at least blocking some of it from you hearing it. Um, we decided just to hang out outside today and do a little bit of weeding because why the hell not? But we also just have a lot of work to do. Finley is getting the mower ready right now. He's gonna mow the lawn and I'm gonna start weeding the big bed. And I'm just gonna show you what we already have coming up because I'm very excited about it. But we also need to plant some additional stuff. So maybe we'll do that today, but I'm really focusing on the weeding because we need to clear some things out, feed the stuff that we don't want to the pigs, all that kind of stuff. So let's go take a look -sees. We have some beets coming up, but as you can see, if you look over, we have so much comfrey still coming up through our lasagna compost system, which is basically you put the cardboard down and have it smother the grass underneath. And we still have a bunch of grass coming up too. I also need to kind of like dig out this path because it keeps getting covered in dirt from gophers, animals, stuff like that. Um, but we have some various calendula plants coming up. This is all just weeds back here, I'm pretty sure. But the thing that's coming up the most in this bed is my peas. We have so many peas. So this one's for Lindsay, brothers. Also, we have something else coming up here. I think this is more peas. That's like the main thing that's coming up along with some tiny little calendula plants because we seeded a bunch of that into this bed too. We have some old kale here, but I don't know if it's gonna survive this season. It looks like maybe too far gone, but I'll leave it, you know, hope for the best. We have some calendula starting to open up over here. More weeds, more weeds. These are like four calendula plants surrounded by grass. This is all of the mustard greens. I said I was gonna leave it, but I think I'm actually gonna rip it up today and feed it to the pigs because it's going to seed now and I don't want it anymore. And if I let the seeds spread, then I'm just gonna have so much of it. Lots of purple dead nettle along the main path. <laughs> we have to weed out all this comfrey, more peas coming up on this side, but a little bit less actually. And I mentioned this in the Patreon video that I did prepping the spring garden at the begin beginning of March, but this is compost this is potting soil so we're trying to do a little experiment on what grows better and it seems as though the compost i mean i'm not shocked but the compost is doing better and that's pretty much like the only updates for the big bed because we also haven't weeded this yet we have random little pieces of cardboard flying around <laughs> from suffocating what's under here but i guess the onions are doing really good still and the rhubarb but other than that we're not really having too many crazy things come up. It's a little early in the season still. I'm wearing my socks and sandals today, but I'm gonna start my weeding, so I figured I'd just kind of time-lapse it or something. Our gorgeous, stunning, fantastic, amazing work, baby. We really did it. <laughs> We're both so exhausted. Wow, Larry, so handsome. I told Finley this, but every time we weed, it just makes me so much more aware of everything that's actually coming up. So I thought that we only had peas and a little bit of calendula growing up, but we actually have a couple of different starts coming up in here. Well, not starts, just little seeds that have germinated. I'm keeping the kale. I decided um, I'm just hoping that it will come back to life. The calendula is staying. Some of it has grass growing underneath it and it's just hard to weed out, so we left it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm off the reeds. There's pretty much just peas everywhere, like I showed you before, but we did see a lot more of tiny little growth happening in the compost bed compared to this potting soil bed. But we'll still seed this and use this. It's not like we're not gonna plant in it, but we're both just like, whew, exhausted. It's almost four, I feel like, right now. And we've been out here for at least like three hours. So we're gonna go take a little breaky poo. But I am very proud of us. Yay! I hate weaning, but it's over. Several days later. My neighbor's mowing his lawn next to me, if you can hear that, but the first calendula of the season is open and I'm so happy. Okay, it's a few days later, but I just came up with this little plan for my garden bed. So I just wanted to show it to you and keep you posted on everything that's going on for 2021 garden planning. So I planted the sunflowers in this bed 
the other day, which you guys saw. And I had one of those cards from one of my friends to where it's like you can plant this card and it's like wildflower seeds inside of the um, card. So I also put that in this bed just now and then I watered it. It's pretty overcast today and it's gonna rain for this next weekend. So I figure like I'll just get more seeds in the ground today. And so I'm just gonna do like a front flower bed up here and then um, next to my artichoke plant right here behind me I'm gonna put around that maybe some peas cauliflower and broccoli and corn possibly but none of that stuff's going in the ground yet so what we can put in the ground now is what I put on the front of this list which is peas beets potatoes broccoli um, lettuces and kale and stuff like that and then carrots as well as some beans, but I think I'm gonna wait to start my beans until May. Mr. Larry has just now joined us. Hello, Peacher. Hello, love you, buddy. But I have all of my cauliflower and broccoli and Brussels sprout and kale seeds right now. I ordered from Territorial Seed Company this year. I think that I'm just gonna kind of reseed the big bed because some of the stuff is coming up but not all of the stuff which you guys have seen um, just like tiny little seedlings are coming up but I'm probably gonna plant it more like densely and just kind of see what happens. It's not like we really follow row planting anymore as is so I'm probably just gonna do that. And Larry's gonna help me, right, buddy? Yeah? What? Huh? Is that a yes? <laughs> He's funny today. You're funny. <laughs> He's trying to eat my list. <laughs> The big bed has been seeded with cauliflower, broccoli, and brussels. Just a little bit. I kept some of the seeds so that I could add more back into those beds for later plantings, but I also think that, you know, most of those will probably come up now because it's just about time for them to do so. I know I said it was gonna rain this weekend, but I'll freaking believe it when I see it. So right now I'm supplementing with our sprinklers. We have to figure out our hose system right now though, because what's happening is the stream is normally a 360 and would hit all the way out to here, but it's not hitting here because I think that we used to have it hooked up to two separate hoses and now it's just sharing the same hose line. So it's kind of like halving the water amount up here. So we have an even smaller stream up here, which I'm not feeling too good about, brother. So what the hell can you do? Um, I think that I'll probably just have to rotate these until we figure out the hosing hookup system, but I'm only gonna let it go for a period of time because I don't wanna overwater or anything like that. I just wanna give these little seeds that I just put in a head start. I also just decided to plant even more calendula because we want a lot of it. And with this being the only one that's opened right now, I kind of wanna do like succession planting of them. So a lot of different ages so that we'll have blooms throughout fall, which I am hopeful about. Also, I'm keeping this entire row of purple dead nettle just so I can pick from it and make pestos over the next like month or so while it's still alive. So yeah, that's my updates today. Just a little bit of just some nice planting. <laughs> Do you think you're such a good, beautiful girl? <laughs> you think you're such a good, beautiful little girl? Yeah, you are. That's why it's true. We're doing a little weed whacking, brothers. Well, Finley's doing some weed whacking for me so I can um, go about the front garden bed situation. We're having some issues with the uh, wire on the inside of the weed whacker. So I need his help because I don't know how to fix that. Well, I don't know how to fix it. Where's your brother? <laughs> Time to do some clearing. Because most of these rocks have been buried by 
gophers since the last time I re-dug out all these rocks and lined this bed. So I don't know where a lot of them went, but I'm finding the ones I can. I already have some extras over here in this pile. Guys, this is a sign. I just found the most gigantic, most beautiful sunflower underneath our freaking butterfly bush over here. It's like a volunteer. Like, I don't know how it got there, but it did. And it's growing so tall and humongous. Oh my God, it's gonna be the biggest mama. I saw the leaves and I was like, what is this weed? And then I saw the tiny little blossoms at the top and I'm like, that's no weed. <laughs> That is a gigantic sunflower. So I'm just trying to like clear out under here, right? This is how I found it. And then I was like, what is this huge stem? This stem rises all the way up to these little guys. At least I think they're sunflowers. I mean, they have sunflower leaves, but it could just be like the world's biggest freaking dandelion or something. I guess this is, well, it's just like the stem is making it look like that to me, but I'm totally keeping this friggin' thing here. This is what I'm trying to find, by the way, is all of these rocks at the base, and I'm taking them out so that I can re-find the perimeter and um, put them around the base. What do you think, Rue? I think this certainly looks better than it did the other day. I'm still unsure about this giant rock. I'm just using it to um, kind of mark where the path creasing starts if that makes sense where it kind of goes in another direction and to kind of train the plants to not come any farther than that <laughs> but um let me know what you guys think about the giant rock down below look at my hands right now so grass stained because i was weeding but we still have to get a couple starts for in here and i'm just pretty much gonna keep this i think as thick as it is because i do like how lush it looks with all of this lemon balm, the spearmint surrounding it, the lithodora kind of in there. But as you can see, I dug out all of the rocks, so now it has like a nice border around it. Again, I literally do this every year because it just gets so eaten away over the winter months, and then I just do one big dig out. But yeah, man, I think that this looks real good compared to how it started. So I'm gonna go and dump this in our big yard clipping compost pile, and rotate the sprinklers and then clean up because I have to stream soon. <laughs> Are you bothering your big sisters, Rue? You're trying to go and see what they're eating. They're just eating grass. Peachy! Hi, princess. Princess Peach. Wow, you guys were synchronized there for a second. That was awesome. Hi, girls. Yeah, do you want to show everybody how awesome your hair is growing back in, Ducky? It's really growing in awesome, guys. She's going to be fully coated again by summer. Hi, I know my hands smell like grass, but... Yeah. <laughs> Hi, snooter number one and snooter number two. Looks like Peach has been doing a lot of snooting. You got a lot of caked, caked mud over your nostrils. You guys have just been eating. Mm-hmm. Love you. Can I see your eyes? See if you need any eye goop cleanup? Clean up on aisle eye goop? Hi! I know. Disgusting. You have the funniest little teeth. My little hogarino princess. I know. You smell like maple syrup. Come on, Peach. Peachy! Peachy! Peach, come here. Come here, Peachy. Hi! Clean up on aisle I. Um, someone's really shaking the fence over here. You want everybody to see your big fat butt? We see it. Are you gonna sit down on it? Wow. <laughs> and she collapses. Okay, girls, I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Um, this is your sister. It's okay, Ducky, you can keep relaxing. I know Rue's being so annoying. She forgets that she already knows you. That's her problem. Much, much, much later. Hello, hello. 
It's a few days later now. This is just a chore vlog, like I said, so I just wanted to pick this up the next time that I was doing mostly outside chores, which I am today. Also, it was a pink moon last night, and I put my little bowl of crystals out to charge underneath the moon, my dwellings. But then I realized that these might need to take a little trip down to the stream to get washed because I keep them on my altar and there's like dog hair just like sprinkled all in here so maybe we'll take these down to get a bath today. Anyway, what I'm currently doing is I just went down to the basement and I grabbed this white pot to put inside of this sunflower woman that I got at an antique store a few years ago and the reason why I had to put a pot inside of this pot is because this is like peeling. I don't want it to get onto my plant that I'm gonna put in here. And I decided I think I should just plant calendula on the front porch because when they open up, they're gorgeous, beautiful orange flowers. And I think it would look nice in this pot. In the past, I've tried to plant sunflowers out here, but they don't really like grow that well in a small pot like this, unless I'm planting specifically small sunflowers. So I think I'm gonna do one calendula in here and then another calendula in here. And there's just weeds coming up in this little chair pot, but I really like this chair pot. Finley gave this to me for my birthday like two years ago or something like that, and I'm gonna put some new seeds in this today. And my tomato plant from my friend is still doing really good and growing really fantastic and strong. So I'm just keeping it on the front porch for now before it gets transplanted into the garden with the rest of the tomatoes, because we're not planting tomatoes until like mid-May for here, because it's still pretty chilly during the nighttime here, like 30s, 40s, and I don't wanna put the tomatoes through that. You know, if you can hear Rue chomping, she's finding sunflower seeds that have fallen from the bird feeder and splitting them open. <laughs> Ridiculous. Also, our neighbor Steve is trying to help us fix our lawnmower today. So that's what's happening. I think I told you guys that the lawnmower broke. It was a whole fiasco. Oh, that's Mr. Finley. Rue's sounding the alarm, so I'm just gonna piece the hell out. One of the coolest things about calendula seeds is that they don't look really like a circular seed or anything like that. They have like kind of a coil to them and they look more like snakes all coiled up or something. But one calendula for in here, one calendula in here. And you know, there's some tiny little things coming up right here, these little seedlings. And I don't know if they're sunflowers or not, so I'm honestly just gonna leave them and see what happens in this pot. <laughs> That might be kind of a lot real, huh? Guys, I want to show you something kind of gross. Um, there's this really weird kind of like substance in the hole of this post on our front porch. And I don't know if it's like a larva or something. I don't really want to touch it. Finley, could you come out here? Could you come look at this little red disgusting stuff? Some sort of sap, I think. Oh, it's like hard, like resinous. Whoa. Oh. Fell into the watering can. Oopsies. It looked so much squishier than I thought. Yeah, I mean, I, I would be shocked if this is still pushing out any sort of resin, but I don't, I really don't know what it was. But it felt like some sort of sap or resin. P.U. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our repotting party. Hey, hey. No dig. <laughs> Dirt nose. Okay, I'm going to be repotting today my aloe plant, which is just getting a little bit too overcrowded. I know that these like don't mind being crowded together, but I feel like it could get so much bigger if I just put it into a bigger pot by like two inches or so. So I'm going to be putting the aloe into this pot. So it's just going to be filled probably about two inches more. And then with this little ficus guy, this is my newest house plant actually that Finley gave me. So when he brought it back, it already had some overgrown roots out of the bottom and the roots were also growing over at the top. And there is also this kind of powdery mildew situation. So I'm going to try to clean that off and kind of isolate that guy you can kind of see the powdered mildew on the leaves as well so i think i'm going to do a big wipe down of it too with like a spray bottle and a rag 
but for right now let's just focus on the aloe um, I'm just gonna be taking some potting soil and going from there also these pots were hanging out in my basement as well as on the bench outside where we keep a lot of our gardening stuff and I just like thoroughly washed them before I'm adding new plants into them because you never know what was in there you know all right miss aloe show us what you've got she definitely needs to be repotted some of these roots are kind of browning they don't look great i'll say that much oh there was a worm in there how did you even survive in my house wow well i'm happy that you're out here now you can totally live outside fun fact about this aloe i bought this at a farmer's market near me here in 2018 and it was only three leaves at the time and it took a tumble in the back seat of our car, spilled like half of its soil everywhere, broke off a limb. And now, I mean, this bitch is thriving. Rue, please don't hit my butt. I don't hit your butt. Yay! The lawnmower works! See, this is why you have your neighbors help you instead of buying the piece that costs $500. Steve is so fucking good with engines, dude. We had him come over to look at the lawnmower and see if he could weld the piece together that broke off of the blade. She's looking good. I'm actually gonna use the old aloe pot for the ficus, so I need to go and clean this one. All right, I accidentally sprayed myself in the face with the hose. Hey, baby. Yeah? We got the mower working, just FYI. That's awesome. I thought that's what I heard. I can do it. Even Daniel Boone, the Brewster, is really getting crazy for all of this. We have successfully repotted the aloe, the fig. Incredible. I am still going to wipe off the leaves once it gets back into the house, but I think, you know, I'll keep you guys posted on the repotting of my houseplants. But the last time I did this, Rue, it turned out beautifully. Oh my gourd, what is this? What is this bug on me? Oh, it's a mayfly. Hi. All right, house plant check. Phil's doing great, aside from his vacuum holes that he has in him, Phil the philodendron. He's stunning. The centerpiece of our kitchen nook. Um, these little plants up here, these purple plants, I still continue to water them, but sometimes they just really, they confuse me, just like my pothos. They kind of have leaves that die back. Anyways, I transplanted this Monstera back in a vlog in like December, maybe even November, and it's doing stunning. It sprouted a lot of new, gorgeous leaves dwelling, and is totally gonna get humongous. I'm about to drain all of these saucers soon, by the way. This pothos, I'm letting drape over the stairs, and the rest of these plants, well, the aloe that I transplanted earlier, doing great. I put in a little bit of vitamin B1 into the water so that it would help with their transplant shock and watered all of these little guys. And I think I like this, how it looks with the pothos draped over the staircase, who knows? And then we have a beautiful fig over here by the window, getting a little bit more light than it normally does. So we'll see how it does. And the peace lily is just hanging out. Later that same evening. Guys, just freaking look at the moon right now between the trees, just so beautiful. Love you, Luna. I couldn't help but come out here. I saw this freaking bright ass moon shining through the back window. And I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. And I wanted to say, I actually did also cleanse my crystals in the river. You can't even see, but they're charging under this crazy moon right now. Love you, girly. Thanks so much. I accidentally left my camera and my phone at home when I went to the creek, but they're just like sitting in a colander drying off and absorbing all of the moon energy darlings. Y'all already know when I'm not doing outdoor chores, I'm doing indoor chores like this pile of laundry. I started this the other day, but I didn't finish it. So 
I'm going to do it now and just listen to a podcast or something like that. Hey folks, so I think that this vlog has been going on for a little over a week now, which is fine, you know? Like I said, I'm just showing stuff in this, like chore stuff, so mostly just work that I'm getting done either in the house or outside of the house, mostly outside stuff though, um, just to kind of motivate you guys to get out there and get after it with the spring gardening season and just do stuff that you've been putting off because that's what this vlog has been for me, is just getting stuff done that I have on a long to-do list that I keep forgetting about, you know? I just wanted to give a quick life update towards the end of this vlog and say that a lot of things has have broken for us on not only the farm, but also just like in our lives in general recently. Um, so our car that I'm driving right now, the Lexus, just I had to pick it up from the service center at the dealership in Portland so that we could have some some work done on it because the car started shaking which is you know just really alarming whenever that happens to you that also happened one time with the truck and the fix was like so expensive so I knew that we had to bring it in we brought it in they realized that it was a rotor wheel and brake pad problem so we got all of that stuff fixed and then they found a leak in our transmission which is like the freaking bloodline to the vehicle so we had to get that fixed too overall it was very expensive but worth it to let this car run to its highest potential of mileage because these types of Lexuses we drive a hybrid RX 450h they can seriously last like 300,000 plus miles and they told us that at the dealership they're like I see these cars all day sometimes up to 400,000 miles Miles. like they're crazy and so I really just wanted to put in the time and money to get work done on it I guess is what I'm trying to say and I'm happy that we did she's running beautifully they cleaned the inside and the outside and it's looking stunning but around the exact same time that our car started having troubles our wood chipper broke and our lawnmower also broke and so we needed to get both of those fixed thank freaking gourd Steve fixed our lawnmower for us by just welding the parts back together otherwise we would have been out another $500 and that's just not great and also that lawnmower we bought brand new so like fuck, you know but it wasn't an issue with like the lawnmower itself it was an issue of the user of the lawnmower because Finley ran over um, a pipe and then it broke off one of the blades like completely and so that's why we needed to weld it back together anyways now all we have to get fixed is the wood chipper which I think it's not a big issue it's just like an oil issue with it so that'll get sorted eventually but it was just like all of these things all at once and just kind of overwhelming but you know at least we're on the tail end of things being broken and now things are just being resolved and being fixed so happy to have this car back absolutely love her work and I guess to summarize for this vlog and the work that needs to get done um, we just really have to tend to our raised beds still and plant those and then also mow the lawn with the newly fixed mower so that's the two things that we're gonna get done but this vlog is already getting pretty lengthy as is so I figured I'd just kind of round it off here and say my piece of if you have things on your to-do list maybe just start today with one single thing this has been a common thing theme for our days recently is even if you are depressed, even if you are anxious or going through some shit at the moment, just try to get one thing done today to help your future self. And trust me, I understand that it's easy to say that and then it's another thing to actually get off the couch or out of your bed and do it, like completely understand. But if you can muster up the motivation, energy, courage, whatever you want to call it from just watching this vlog to get out there and do something like that would make me so happy but also if you're not into it you're not into it and that's totally fine and I love you either way I just kind of wanted to say my piece okay um, I have needed this reminder many a time over the last month honestly of finding motivation even though I love gardening and I love outdoor activities and I love that it's been sunny for once it's still hard some days to actually get out there and do something so I understand 
and I love you. And I just want to say thanks for watching me work in this vlog. It was an absolute treat to have your company. I hope you enjoyed the POV of being a farmhand because that's what a lot of this was. Was like point of view, you're watching me fucking work all day on my hands and knees weeding out my gardens. But I hope it was entertaining to you and I'll see you in the freaking next one, okay? If you didn't know, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Time, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Megan Hughes and it's free to watch. I also have a paid Patreon page if you have some extra change and you're trying to see some extra content from me, okay? It's patreon.com slash Megan Hughes. I love you all so much and I will talk to you very soon in the next video, okay? Stay smiling. Bye y'all.